I have a gator named Rambo. He likes to eat at my table. He likes to watch SpongeBob. Crazy gator. <laughs> have you ever had a gator that lives in your house? Bobo, morning. You ready? Come on. We are going to clean his pen. We let out the water already. He likes to argue with the contraption. See? You ready? It's not sucking. Well, we got a little technical problem. Wait a minute. I'm not going to trade with you yet. What is going on? My crazy grader Rambo is about 6'6 six, six now, and he weighs close to 200 pounds. There we go. And he does this every time we do this. Give me a back, you little runt. So I'm going to have to get me a winch when he wants to help up the stairs because my back ain't handling this. Can I have it? Huh? Can I have it? If he gets the hose, you need to run for cover because he likes to give everybody a bow. Good boy. Okay, would you hand me his leash and his monkey? I got Rambo when he was about four years old. He's 17 years old now, so he's been with me a while. He's allergic to the sun. He was in a closet for the first four years of his life in a dark closet. So it ruined his immune system. The cruelty they did to these gators was really bad. So he can't enjoy a normal gator life. They brought him over to me and I couldn't say no. I never say no to an animal that's in need. I had to invent ways to take care of these gators. He gets sunburned. So normally I put sunscreen on him. Oh, go. Nope, don't go under there, you're gonna get hurt. Nope, nope. I get a lot of slack for that, but you know what? My gator's not walking around with sunburn. Back, back. You know, I protect my gators with everything I got. Other animals I can't let out because they will eat you. What animals are those? Dogs, oh, okay. <laughs> guard dogs. There's Itchy. Come on, Itch, right here. Come on, this is Itchy. He was the last one of the squirrels. If you try to get him out of his cage, he will run around you about 80 times biting you. That's about what I have in here, besides the gator. Hold on. I've had like 20 gators, all of them's potty trained. All of them's done their own special thing, like ride motorcycles, four wheeler. And the name of his book today is Albert's Special Day. And he usually goes to school and reads to kids. Now see, he's green. You're not. Alligators are not normally green. Do you like this one? You're not looking at me. Hello. Now he's going to get down. <laughs> see, I said he doesn't stay anywhere he does not want to go. So when did your love for big dangerous animals first start? What do you call a big dangerous animal? I call that a man. <laughs> I have seven kids, four girls and three boys. My mom and my, her sister were twins, and they both died of cancer. So all this is their stuff handed down to me, antiques and stuff like that. That's my son's room. We don't open it. It stays as his memorial. So it's just like it was when um, he was here. When my son died, 
All these animals just were right on top of me the whole time because they knew something was wrong. My boy. <laughs> I only take handicapped gators, so my gators have special needs. A little Alyssa was only this big. A farmer stepped on her back and broke her back and brought her to me because she couldn't move. Then we had Boo Boo, who didn't have this part of her nose. Then Limpy died of sunshine, because when I first got him, I didn't know that they were allergic to the sun. He loves people. He would sit on his props. He would let people take pictures with them. And he really loved to interact. I mean, he's more like a dog than he is a gator. If I wanted him to stay, I'd set him on a prop and I would do a sign. Well, they got used to it. Don't say gator can't learn. When they were babies, we started out with no biting, no swatting, no head butting, no scratching, no rolling, no, um, can't read my own writing. It's hard getting a boyfriend. <laughs> Who's gonna come you with a gator that climbs up in your bed or running around your house? They ain't gonna stay long. <laughs> Ew, stinky gator. I've been pooped on so many times, I'm immune to gator poop. <laughs> Would you like to have that in your house? <laughs> that, that gator? Yeah. Uh, not, not quite, <laughs> no. <laughs> when he's sick and he doesn't feel good, he hangs out with me everywhere, and that includes the bed. I don't care what nobody says, they can call me the crazy white girl with a gator, you know. Don't bother me a bit. I never say no to an animal that's in need because Rambo needs me. Rambo would not be alive if it wasn't for me. He's my kid. So are my dogs, so are my pigs, so are my chickens, so are my squirrel. He's family.